Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statements that you wouldn't say in a Discord chat. I'm your host, Young Deuces, and before we get into this game, I got to go ahead and get around and introduce our players. First up, Bunny. What's good? How are you doing today? Yeah, you already know I'm doing real good, real fine. I'm ready to win. Let's go. You ready to win? All right. I, I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Chase, what's good, bro? Man, you already know, man. I came here with my little hustler spirit hat on. Let you know, man. That is <laughs> <laughs> that hustler spirit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm not confused. I might be a little dazed, but you know. Uh -huh. we I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. And then the one and only Sensei Le Glove, man. How you doing, bro? I'm decent, dog. It's uh, OVO Glove. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, we chilling. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying, bust some ass, get a dub. Get a dub. All right, man. I love to hear that, man. We got, got that competition going high. So before yeah, we go ahead and get into this game, I got to go ahead and get them, go over the rules. So that way the viewers who are first time or the ones who just want to get recapped on the rules know what's going on. So players will be given four categories that you can see displayed on the screen. Now, you will be choosing between video games, movies, TV and anime, and comic books. After you have selected your category, players will choose between levels one and three, and each level is worth a certain amount of points that you gain by figuring out who said this blasphemous statement. Now, you will be given two minutes to interrogate the other players to figure out who said that statement. After the time runs out, the player will call out the person who they believe said this statement. Again, don't ask them directly because that counts as one of your goals. Now, if you get it wrong, the points that you choose get cut in half and you get one more try. And if you get that last try wrong, well, then unfortunately you get no points. Now, once the accused uh, accused player gets figured out, the player will tell us whether or not they are the person that said this. Again, ham it up. I need to see all the dramatics. I need to see all the theatrics right there, right? If the player is correct, they will win the level. The person with the most points will be the winner and will go to our highlight reel. Now, the highlight reel is the, mount, is the moment where the winner gets to say whatever their most blasphemous statement is for one minute without any type of interactions, interjections from all the other players. So now that we got that, I want to make sure everybody understands the rules of the game. Yep. Bet those, bet those. All right. So, Bunny, you are our first person, our number one player up. Let's go. Oh. What category are you picking? All right. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with movies and TV. Okay, movies and TV. And how much are you betting on yourself? I'm a, Let's go hard. Let's go hard. 300 points. What happened? Movies and TVs for the 300. Bunny says she came to play today. All right, let's get that blasphemous statement on the board and let's go ahead. Lion King has the best Disney soundtrack by far. Wow. Ooh. Is right. it bad that I feel like whoever said this and me, we supposed to go on a date? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, this is, so this, is this, is this is not blasphemous to you. This is not black. Listen, I just want to know who you are. Let's start. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's well, let's go ahead and start your interrogation. We got the timer on the board. Let's go. Hi, Chase. Well, hello there. You like Lion King? I love Lion King. How much? Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot. I, I cried in it. Me too. I cried. Yeah, I cried. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Grace. Hey, Will. <laughs> Chase is mad cute. But anyway, <laughs> girl, you know, I used to have a pair of Lion King panties. Ooh. <laughs> but they was like, like booty short panties. Like they were still like shorts, like booty shorts. But and then it had like Hakuna. It, it was mad cute. Hakuna Matata on the back. <laughs> Where can I get these? Yeah, I got them from H and M. It was like one of those years that yeah, H and M just had mad like mm -hmm, random Lion King panties. Would you ever wear Lion King? Hell you know, yeah. Yeah, and it, like, it had like the yellow and the orange. It would have matched perfect with your beanie. Mad cute. You know because. He because he likes my Tata, you know. Mm -hmm. tata. Tata. Yeah. <laughs> one minute, one minute. Um, Sensei. And tata. Yes. Okay. Sensei, did you cry during Lion King? Yes, I did actually. How many times? Which scenes? Once when Mufasa died. Ooh. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds so disappointed. <laughs> All right. How many scenes did you cry? Um, when you watched Lion King Race. It was only when Mufasa, did you cry when Mufasa died? 
Of course I cried when Mufasa died. Did you cry at any other scenes? Were you asking me? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think I had like tears of joy during- 20 seconds. The, during the part where, you know, he's coming back to the pride. Trust my process, dude. Yeah. Trust my process. No. Yeah, I agree. It was beautiful. <laughs> Chase, how many scenes you cried in? Just one when Mufasa died. Just one when Mufasa. So that's the general consensus. Yeah. Okay. Right? That's the general right. fucking consensus. All right, Who buddy. Sensei! Who's your... <laughs> sensei, that's did it. you say it? Did, did you say like oh yes! that's crazy so for bunny this is not this is not a blasphemous statement you are her soulmate so why do you and bunny both believe that lion king has the best disney soundtrack by far go ahead bunny you got it i genuinely believe it says a lot about you if you disagree with lion king having the best soundtrack that disney has ever had to offer i get it we had, you know, we had Tarzan, we had Tarzan, you know, with the one-offs here and there. But when you're talking about consistency, playable, from the beginning of the soundtrack, even the interludes that don't even, I'm talking about the score she as well. No words, no you words. You could cry listening to the score, and I'm gonna be mad at you. Listen, Sensei, listen, I know wherever your baby mama wife, baby mama number whatever, when Nala, Crept up on him. Come on now. We be, I, be <laughs> <laughs> I think I came close. I came close when he did. You the, cried when Nala pulled remember up. Remember who you are. Hey. Exactly. I, I, think I came close there when he did that. Remember. I, I, well, buddy, 300 right out the gate. All right. I need that 300 back. I have to run it back. What you came, came to play? All right. <laughs> Chase, you up? <laughs> You up, bro? <laughs> no, no what, you, what category are you picking? Uh, I'm gonna go comic books. Comic books, and how much you betting on yourself? I'm gonna go 200. Comic books for the 200? Comic books for the 200. Let's see. All right, let's see. <sighs> Get Shit. that blasphemous statement up there. Comic books always has hella blasphemy statements. <laughs> The only comic book I've ever read is Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> what? G? For real? All right, let's get the let's get the timer on. Wow. wow. Chase, go ahead and start your interrogation. Okay. Uh Bunny. Hello. You know it begins and ends with Bunny. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah. do you know who Calvin and Hobbes are? I know exactly who Calvin and Hobbes are. I feel like when you're talking about the upper echelon of comic books that are more like childlike graphic novels, like what uh, we would read out of the school book fairs comic book selection, Calvin and Hobbes had a lot of what I would say reminiscent, like what I felt like when I would watch certain TV shows on PBS 13, but in a comic book, it was palpable. Um, but I, that is not the only comic book I've ever read. <laughs> hold, I, on, hold, like, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let Chase get it. Let, let Chase go to make his round. So okay, Chase, keep going. So, so Grace, do you know who Calvin and Hobbes are? Yeah, I actually think they should make a movie. Which one is Calvin which? Hobbes. Calvin is the white boy and Hobbes is the tiger. Okay. No? Okay. okay. Sensei, have you uh, ever read Calvin and Hobbes? Red? No. Oh, okay. You do you know who comic Kelvin Hobbs are? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So all right. Uh Deuces. Do you yeah. have any questions for these wonderful people? Uh, Except right. for Sensei. Sensei seemed so like he was just like Calvin and Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs. All right, all right. That right. sounds like a good fucking action flick. Like it was like, right. man, it just sounds like two buddy cops. Bunny, what 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 is your favorite comic book? Damn, my favorite comic book from when I was a kid, I would say I really enjoyed reading Justice League Dark comic books. I also love their animated films. Okay. Um, I think they their DC could never do that outside of animation. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Grace. Like, okay. Gra Grace, real quick. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Okay. All right, Chase, where you going? Who do you believe said the only comic book I ever read is Calvin and Hobbes? Grace, <laughs> did you say this? I did. I knew you did. <laughs> What's funny is I'm looking, I have like 
comic book books. I also have a son, so now it makes more sense um, for me. But like, I used to read the comic books every Sunday. You know, the, I mean, the comic strips. They're nope. not books. Comic nope. strips every Sunday because you know it was in color. Um, but I loved. I actually remember reading like an actual Calvin and Hobbes book, and it was yeah. a big one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was torn between you and Bunny because I didn't know if Bunny was throwing us for throwing us off with her knowledge. But when she said Justice League Dark, I was like, nah, she good. She yeah. good. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody knows I used to flip them back issues on the third floor <laughs> of Midtown Comics in Times Square. Like, if you want a jungle fantasy, you had to come to me. You want a Vampirella, you had to come to me. You know what I'm saying? You oh, couldn't just right. get all of it. He was out here slanging them, all right? Yeah, Bunny. All right, Grace, you are up next. What category are you going with? Now, remember, like I said, we got 300. Bunny got 300. Chase got 200. What are you betting on? Your, uh, one, what category are you picking? And how much you betting on yourself? Let's do movies and TV. For the, how much? Uh, What's the score? Who, uh, Sensei has 300, huh? It's new. New I round. Oh, this is new round. Bunny got um, three. Chase got two. Bunny got three. Bunny got three. Oh, Chase got two. I yep. Let's do... Let's do 200 to be safe. No, no, no. Let's do 300. Why are we doing only? Let's do 300. <laughs> All right. 300. We'll be the team. 300. Let's go ahead and get that blasphemous statement. Flash on CW was trash. Oh and I don't know why y'all hyped it so hard. <laughs> this is, this, I want to let y'all know. This one hurts my core. <laughs> like, look, come on. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get that uh, timer going. And. Go ahead, Grace. Start your interrogation. Lucas, I'm going to need your help on this, this one. Okay. All right. Right off the rip. All right. All right. Chase. Yeah. I need to I need to know. Okay. What is your favorite Arrowverse show? Um, I would probably go Flash, actually. Okay. I watch, I watch more of Flash than um, – Probably Green Arrow or The Legends or any of that. So, okay. yeah, I probably would say Flash. All right. Bunny, I want to know, uh, did you watch The Flash? Yes. All right. What was your favorite villain? Absolutely none of them. What I <laughs> what I love the best about the Arrowverse, in gen like when it comes to the Arrowverse, I was Green Arrow, so I'm the opposite of, of Chase, actually. But okay. I did respect the mashups, though. Okay, the crossover mm -hmm. events. All right. Yes. When we had those, that was that was when I was a little more excited to to deal with. But I did not watch the Flash. All right, Glove. Yes. Did you did you finish the series? The Flash series. Yes. Yep, top to bottom. Top to bottom. All right. Mm -hmm. Which? What was your? What was your? favorite season of the flash yeah it was the one with folks in the chair oh okay <laughs> all right all right Got a thinker the thinker the thinker yeah the thinker yep uh, i think that was my favorite one all right grace i gave you three ones so Ooh. i don't know if there's any other questions you want to ask um um i got black lightning Okay, Black Lightning. Okay, uh, sh shoot. Oh, this is hard because all y'all, no one really seemed to like the Flash. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just going to go with my spirit. All right. Let's go, go with your spirit. Who do you believe said Flash on CW is trash? And I don't know why y'all hyped it so hard. Chase. Chase, did you say this blasphemous statement? Nope, I did not. Oh, <laughs> I, did not. Okay. I did not say it. All right, now you down to one fifty. You down to one fifty, Grace. Who do you believe? You got Hi, money or glove? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I... What did Bunny say about about? She said. She said, she said okay, said, but since, she said, Sensei said he watched every episode. Since they watch every episode, Bunny said that she prefers Green Arrow over the Flash. She didn't necessarily like a specific villain. I'm going to go with Sensei. Just because of the y'all in this statement. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, did you say the Flash OCW is trash? And I don't know why y'all hyped it so hard. I did not say It was me! <laughs> <laughs> 
shit. You fucking y'all like that? She's the reverse flash. Do it all. She is Eobar Thon. She is Eobar Thon. Eobar Thon. Eobar Thon. <laughs> all right, buddy. Why do you believe that it's trash? Let me tell you something. I know exactly the reason why it is just such a well-written series. I know the lore was beautiful. You guys kept it cute. But the the dynamic between the actors, I couldn't stomach it. I felt like <laughs> okay. I was watching Great Value Flash the whole time while I was watching it. But okay. then, wait, y'all going to know what I'm saying when I say what I'm about to say. Sensei, look at me in the yes. eye. <laughs> Arrowverse got like that after season two. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that is why once after season two, I was like, I'm not doing this again. I love you, Iris. You a badass bitch. I fucks with you. You look like Grace Aubrey. They should have casted Grace Aubrey. That's a, that's a compliment sandwich because I know you lost. But <laughs> you can't disagree with me. I, <laughs> I mean, I kind of disagree with you. Yeah. I mean, listen here. Listen here. I'm going to give Flash, listen here. Flash definitely trickled off like a motherfucker. It did not stick the landing. But, like, they had they had a good, like, three seasons that was gas. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it was like, I, I can't I can't go, go go too hard off of it, bro. Like, and then, like, with I, I kind of disagree. Great writing, I kinda, too. And I, and I, I kind of disagree with your Green Arrow take because I think after... After Deathstroke is when I when when it went start going down because they that Deathstroke se season was crazy. Yeah, well, I think in general, season two was when the general. writing went. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. All, all those shows, the writing definitely after like season three, the motherfuckers went down. So yeah. But the lore right. was beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, since they look glove, you back up. Hey. All right. So we have Bunny with the three. We got Chase with the two. Unfortunately, Grace ain't on the board. <laughs> Sensei, what what category are you going with? Uh, let's do video games for three hundred. Video games for the three hundred. All right, man. Hey, man. I don't think we ever had a tie, so you might have the opportunity to be our first tie. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh that Apex community gonna come for this one. All right, let's go ahead and get that uh timer going. Sensei, let's go ahead and start your interrogations. Bunny, you play on PC? Yup. Do you play Apex? No. Not at all? Have no. you played it at ever? Have you ever played it? Yes. You have played it? Yes. Fair enough. Uh, Chase, you play Apex? No. I don't even know what that is. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were rooting for you, Chase. We was I got a PS5. That, that, that's just. Great. That's, a good, that's good enough for me. That's, that's, that's sitting around? Me. Nah, it ain't sitting around. That, that should get work. Just, Grace, what, it's not on Apex. Apex? Yeah. Grace, you Say it again, Sensei. You play Apex? I know what Apex is. Do I play it? Have you watched somebody play it? I, I'm sure my son's watched somebody play it. Gotcha. You play, <laughs> do you play video games at all? I do play video games. What's your favorite video game? My favorite right now is... <laughs> um, I'm Right now, I'm replaying Luigi Mansion 3. At, uh, at the moment. Okay. <laughs> God, uh, dude, ask, ask Bunny two questions. All right, Bunny, who do you mean? Ask me. Huh? What are you? You don't. You said you don't play Apex, right? I don't play Apex. Do you know any of the characters at all? Anything of that nature? Within Apex, no. Mm -mm. Do you know any of the, 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 no, no. Do you play shooter games? Yes. What's your favorite I, shooter game? I'm a fan of COD, whether it's Vanguard, Modern Warfare. I did not like Cold War. Um, I'm a GTA girly. I also okay. like <laughs> I also like Destiny. Okay. Destiny right. is a big I'm a big fan of sci-fi shooters. Okay. Shooting shooters and tactical ones. Apex is cute. I'm ready, gang. <laughs> All right. Who who you got? Bunny, did you say this, Jay? Hell yeah! <laughs> you better get your money, Sensei. And let's talk about it. I don't care. Flame me. Flame me. Oh, oh, you know no I way. said it. Oh, you got it, man. I knew it. She has Give him it. his point. So why do you believe that if Apex wasn't free, I wouldn't run it up as much? There's, there was a long sentence, but production and the man behind the curtain decided to make it short. I was talking trash on that. I also said, aside from if it wasn't free, y'all wouldn't run it up as much. I also said if they, if they didn't nerf 
war zone, y'all wouldn't even be there. And if GTA would have come out by now and would have been less toxic and they didn't put MK Ultra all up in Madden, all up in the 2Ks, then y'all wouldn't be there. But that's cool. It keeps my man out the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's so that's where it stems from. She she tired of her man playing that shit. She's like, no, 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 I'm not tired. She's like, this game ain't even good. Keep you going. playing spending all this time on this damn game. I'd be like, go. I'd be on the legacy. Go, go. Go, go. No more winners. All right, so we got two You're actually winners. the first person I ever heard like this. Flame winner. it like that, right? For I'm sure. the only one that flames it. For sure. That's fire. That's fire. So, I feel like these were all bunny statements. Two of them was. <laughs> Two of them. Dang it! I learned so much. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, so we actually got two winners today that go into our highlight reel. And as the victor, we welcome you to our highlight reel. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Bunny. You have one minute to get your shit off with your most blasphemous statement and explain why why nobody else get the rebuttal. I don't so let's go ahead, Bunny. Okay. Um, the start the clock right now. We got one minute. Usually it my minimum is eight and I can handle things, but we're gonna try to do this in 60 seconds because I, I ain't never gonna highlight in 60 seconds, but I'm gonna try. Um y'all need to stop coming for influencers that make their money the way that gamers and streamers make their money. You gotta stop coming for them for making decisions on how they want to stream. I just got back from TwitchCon. And my big time, like, go-to is, I met people, yes, they was boofing. Yes, their underarms was stinking. They didn't, they wasn't next to no PCs, though. All right, sensei? But I met people from all walks of life, from all over the world, really, at TwitchCon that were just really eager to talk about real shit that's popping off in the world. And I don't get that when I'm hanging out with a lot of the people that are not the sweaty gamers Boof for underarm. My man underarm does not stink. Yes, he's on PC. <laughs> but I want y'all to know, when you're looking to the left and you're looking to the right, you're trying to judge people that are on here virtually, get into the bag or get into the points and building and connecting, please take caution. Like, we live in a world where real shit is happening right now. You comfortable watching this show right now, but the gamers and the streamers are moving all over the world and we're meeting people. And we're seeing what's really going on outside of this cookie cutter US of A that we are all blessed to say we can't stand living at. So that's my blasphemous statement. Fuck with us. We really know what's going on. I don't, I don't think that was that blasphemy. That was more of a sermon <laughs> right there. Like, yeah, like, look here. <laughs> I think we all in agreement with you on that one. <laughs> okay. Go chase. No, no, it's, 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 it's on glove. Glove, glove is the other yeah. winner. So oh, glove, glove. Yeah, glove, get a, get a, glove, get another one, man. Let's hear it, dude. Man. Back to back. Say, you know what I'm saying? OBO glove going back OBO. to back. OBO. I've been trying to think. I've been trying to like, think. God damn, what song? <laughs> Give me a topic. Give me a topic to 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 be blasphemous about. Anime. Ooh. Big anime. Okay. Let's let's set the world on fire, glove. Come on, you know, you already All know. Right. All right. Yu Yu Hakusho is overrated in every aspect of its show. And I say that by meaning your the MC is overrated. The characters are overrated. The story is overrated. The tournament arc is overrated. The overall aesthetic of it is overrated. Um, it has not been the best anything in a long time. And I think that nostalgia is really beating you motherfuckers over the head. And y'all got to let that shit go. It was, it is a classic. It is something that, that niggas really enjoyed when it was hot, but the shit is not, it's not what, it's not what niggas are saying nowadays, bro. Um, and a caveat to that is in today's anime, the, the, the bar for what makes a great anime is legit on the floor, G. You niggas don't really know. And that's where I end my set. All right. Well, <laughs> again, I know. Sorry, anime, gang. No, 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 no. That man. one, you already know. People going to come. <laughs> that you, you hockey show, that, especially they get in the live action. Oh, man, they going to be in them comments, bro. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching Geek Blasphemy, and now it's your time to get your shit off. Let us know in the comments down below your most blasphemous geeky statement, or agree with something that you heard from today, or better yet, rebuttal what you heard from today. But don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything from the Arcade Tokens page. Until next time, deuces out.